On hot summer days, shade can be found beneath the leaves and trees at Ebert's Greenhouse Village, a not-so-secret garden tucked away in the quaint town of Exonia, Wisconsin. Guests enjoy endless flowers, veggies, herbs, trees, shrubs, and perennials. Ebert's roots, however, stretch beyond the flowers we experience there today. It's the village's history of great people who have planted the seeds for growth that makes it such a peaceful place to visit. Everyone just works together, gets everything done, and they just give their, their whole heart. There's just something different about it, and when you walk in, you feel it as a customer. My first job here was picking up potatoes for 50 cents a bushel, and that was for the first two summers, and there was almost nothing here. I grew up on the farm with five siblings, and I remember one Saturday morning, I was sitting on the porch board, and I was like nine or 10 years old, and my dad said, you're going to pick up potatoes. It was kind of neat, I didn't want to do it, but he told me he'd give me a quarter for every bushel of potatoes I picked up. At the end of the day, I had $5 worth of quarters, and I thought that was pretty neat. This story begins with Mark's grandparents. The two began dairy farming in the early 1900s. Mark's grandfather passed away at an early age, leaving the farm to his wife, Emma, and his 15-year-old son, Milton. Milton married his wife, Jane, in 1952, and the three ran the farm together until 1959, when Milton left farming to work at a factory. Years later, in the early 1970s, Milton started farming again and opened a small vegetable farm with his son, Ron. They handcrafted a greenhouse to grow various vegetables, including tomatoes and peppers, and eventually started growing flowers. I worked for them when I was probably in high school, and then in about 1990, Ron and I went into business together after I bought it from my dad. It was just fun working with my brother. He passed away, he had some health issues, and he passed away in 2015. It was, that was probably the hardest part of my life, because I grew up with him and, you know, great friends and just partners, and it was, it was pretty tough. I have one, one daughter, Sierra. She really developed a, a love for the flowers, and uh, now she's taking business classes, and she hopes to be working here then full-time, so continuing on. The culture here at Ebert's is uh, family. Everybody kind of has each other's back, and uh, everybody does a hundred jobs here. This story is about more than just flowers. It's about all the people at Ebert's Greenhouse Village who have put love into its soil. From these fertile grounds, Ebert's has bloomed into a tranquil retreat for so many today. What I like the most about Ebert's is uh, almost the freedom to do the best that we can with the, the amount of materials that we have. I get involved in a lot of different areas, so it keeps each day very active and challenging at times, but also enjoyable. To be here through the whole process of how it's grown and changed over the years, it's just, it's amazing. It's wonderful. We're all from different families, but we're actually one real big family here. My name is Jesse Sigenthaler, and I've been privileged to work here at Ebert's for 17 years. I've been working at Ebert's for about 23 years now. Uh, 16 years. 22 years. 29 years. I've been working at Ebert's basically since I was nine years old, so about 46 years. I never imagined anything like this. Mm -hmm.